Watson. Dr. Watson, can you help me? Can you help me with the headset? Dr. Watson. Have you decided to wear your bowler the hat for this investigation, Watson? <laughs> As always, Holmes, I feel positively undressed without it. Okay. Have you already begun your journal entries, Doctor? I just read that. Of course, Holmes, any case in which you take an interest will certainly interest the world. Okay. Well, I guess we go through the door. Come along, come along, Watson. The game's afoot. And quite so, Holmes. I can't really do an English accent. I have no idea how to do an English accent. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Watson. <laughs> A challenging case. Is it not Watson? Even though we just left the door, it's so challenging. And quite enough to tangle my senses, Holmes. I hardly know which way to turn. I don't even know if we have to go left or right. I don't know where the theater is, Holmes. These hideous Hooper crimes have exhausted the resources and imagination of Scotland Yard, Watson. Can we do better with our case? With you in the lead, Holmes, I'm sure we shall. Dr. Wiggins. Small boy with a golden singing scent. Oh. Are the rest of your legs available, Wiggins? I just read ladies and it was very disturbing. There's it already, sir. Tell me what you need and I'll pass it on. There's eight who's willing to work, so it costs eight bob a day plus the usual reward. Yes, very green eyes. Very green eyes. I will be requiring assistance, Wiggins. Thank your service, Mr. Holmes. You got a job for the Irregulars? Well, no, Wiggins. Not just at the moment. I just was playing with you. Very good, sir. Let me know when there's anything we can do for you. We can all use the press. Oh. Jonas, the newspaper operator. My compliments, Mr. Wigby. The days finds you well, I trust. Indeed, Mr. Holmes. Business has been brisk. The great British public divorced anything to do with the Ripper. While Jack's at work, my family is eating steak and kidney pot. What's kidney pot? It's English food I don't really want to know. The better London papers. Sir. Hey! I was reading! Let's get to the alley. Ooh, with a horse singing. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watts, very good of you to come so quickly. After you swag of the examine the scene and the corpus delicti, please share your observations with me. Okay, what's here? Cigarette box. Behind one corner of the crate are a half dozen cigarette ends, recently crushed into the dirt. The brand is common and smoked by thousands of Londoners. The smoker was a man wearing heavy shoes or work boots. Given the length of the butts, his fingers are most certainly stained by nicotine. Can you pick them up? Pick up cigarettes. Ooh, I have my first item! Yes! Where's the inventory in this game? Ooh, okay. Ah, so I always know what to do. That's good. I had ten. <laughs> ah, that's, that's, that's nice. That's, 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 that's like this. Ah, there, inventory. I have a message requesting help, a number of business cards, and cigarette butts. Several business cards. They read Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective, 221B Baker Street, London. Can I use them? Use? Give. Exit. I broke the game. <laughs> a woman, approximately 25 years old, has had her jugular vein viciously slashed. 
This was certainly the cause of death. Y yes, I guess so. There are several known fatal gashes on her abdomen, abrasions on the back of her neck, and scratches on her left wing, wing finger. The distinct odor of a particular cloying and... What? Why is the game... Hey! Exit. Let's leave the scene and come back again. So... Is it not better? Yes. <laughs> uh, I broke the game. The abrasions on her neck imply that the attacker forcibly removed some sort of heavy chain or necklace. There are three separate lines where chains scraped to neck, all of which are deep and vivid. Okay. And back. It's a simple silk lined handbag, sometimes called the reticule. The contents, a pocket river, a tin of facial powder, a large metal fuel, a kerchief, is it called a handkerchief? And some catches have been dumped out and apparently subjected to a hasty, hasty search. I don't want to see that in the toilet. An iron bar. This is a two foot section of iron pipe. Both ends are corroded for rust. There's a trace of red paint in the room. A hat. A lady's very stylish hat, fashioned in crimson silk. Pick up hat. Well, it's not got anything like, but I shall need it as head as evidence. Okay, pick up iron ball. Oh, cool. Pick up iron ball. Let's check the balance. This is a storage area for damaged or discarded stage props from this season's place. These items are waiting for the dustman. The entire area appears undisturbed. And exit to a constable. A better piece of paper. It appears to be a common sealed label. Pick it up. He really picks up everything I told him to. Nice. I'm on a roll. Pick up knife wounds. No. Knife wounds, okay. The wounds were clearly made with a short blade. Perhaps the size and shape of a scale pole. Close observation reveals that the blade was serrated. There is a trace of a white, powdery residue of unknown nature on the victim's coat, immediately beside what appears to be the first of the abdominal wounds. Check out the white powder residue. The substance was most probably on the murderer's weapon at the time of the attack, as through a chemical analysis would most likely reveal its composition. Well then, pick up the white powder residue. Nice! I want a roll here. Equations, corpse. Let's check out the corpse itself. Yes, I already read this. The discount order for particular cloying and ex inexpensive brand of perfume pervades the body. Oh, Inspector Lestrade, what do you have to tell me? Is there anything you can tell me that isn't obvious from the scene, Inspector? The deceased was an actress near the scene. Huh? Name of Sarah Cowway. She lived by herself always in Bayswater. According to our only witness, there's a sister, well about presently unknown. The witness found the body, but remembers nothing of the person, person she was fleeing the scene. You may talk to her if you like, though she's a bit in the way of being hysterical at the moment. He's in the victim's dressing room, through the door and up the stairs, but before you go, I'd like to confirm some, some theories of my own. Have you already decided on an explanation for the crime inspector? I have no doubt that this is the Ripper's doing. And the fact that we are miles away from his habitable haunts in Whitechapel is a, of absolutely no significance. If he would left his calling card, it would be no clearer. The man is a monster. Ooh. 